तो प्रिपरेशन कब स्टार्ट की तुमने किस ईयर में थर्ड ईयर में फाइनल ईयर में अभी पिछले साल स्टार्ट की एग्जैक्टली कब तैयारी शुरू किया है Hi guys, this is Dr. Pritesh Singh. With me is Dr. Rohit Mehta, who secured two twenty-seven marks in FMG June twenty twenty-two. Congratulations, Rohit! This is amazing performance. Please tell us something about yourself. Thank you, sir. Uh, I did my MBBS from BP uh, Kerala Institute of Health Science, Naran, Nepal. I joined uh, this. Uh, Letter. So I went through some of the subject, not all. I could not go through all the subjects, but uh, relevant and good. So preparation कब start की तुमने? किस year में? Third year में? Final year में? या अभी पिछले साल start की? Exactly कब तैयारी शुरू किया है? I completed my MBBS in two thousand two thousand one. Okay. So, in fact, uh, I was practicing somewhere else. Okay. Then, actually, I have completed. Okay. And for how many hours you were studying per day? Uh, I used to study not much. I was quite busy in my to uh, be practice. Okay. Colleges. Okay. So I was not reading much. I was just going through few subjects and just basics because uh, after two thousand two, well, I have never visited basic subjects. Okay. So I was trying to I should recall some of the basic concepts. Right. So per day, how many hours you were giving for the studies? Uh, I was reading maybe two, two to three hours. Not every day, maybe. Three or four days a week. Okay, okay. So despite of this little, you know, preparation, you cracked the exam and you got two twenty seven. That's amazing. This must be because of your previous hard work or you because of your clinical skills because you are practicing. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay. I have been working throughout. I have been teaching, and then I went through maybe medicine and few other subjects. Okay. And this time from preparation. Okay. So for the last six months, what was your main focus? What were the main subjects in which you devoted yourself? Uh, I had to focus mainly on medicine this time, because okay. I myself being a surgeon, I am a surgical gastroenterologist. So I was focusing basically in medicine and uh, basics. Okay. Those were the lacking parts in me. Okay. So you are so surgical. From preparation, I basically went through. So you are surgical gastroenterologist. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, sir. So what was your course in uh, Nepal? So actually, I did my surgical gastroenterology from PGI Chandigarh. I am MS from PGI Chandigarh okay. and MCS from PGI Chandigarh. Okay, okay, okay. That's really great. Great. Uh, then what's the need of giving FMG exam? I don't understand that. Uh, I was registered in Nepal earlier. Okay. So I went to practice in India. Now I am shifted, migrated to India. Okay. My schooling and all was in Nepal. So that's why I needed permanent registration in India. Okay. So you need licensing. You want to practice in India. That's why you appeared for this particular exam. Yeah. yeah. That's really yes. great. That's really great, and that's amazing. Actually, I was also preparing for surgical gastroenterology when I did my MS. Right. So after one year of preparation, I came into the teaching. So I can understand your devotion. Yes, we because... have been reading your books uh, since my MS days. Also, I know you have a lot of books we used to read. We just we just even don't remember books name. We just call it Pratih Singh, Doctor Pratih Singh's book. <laughs> And like this too. That's come... really great. That's really great. So, what's your next plan? I mean, now you are registered in India. So, what you're planning next? So uh, I am planning to join somewhere medical college because okay. I am interested in teaching and practice both. Both, right? That's really great. So please share your advice, share your preparation strategy with the students who were not able to crack the exam in June session, who are going to reappear for December exam. 
so uh, the basic thing is uh, hard work hard work is the first thing required for cracking any exams right the next thing is uh, during our days there is to be a theoretical part but now questions are focused, focused mainly on practical aspects pictures videos even uh, they are focusing clinical real case scenarios so just going through books may not be sufficient you have to go into practice you have to do your intensive well you have to focus during your ward postings clinical rounds bedside teaching cvl and these are uh, i think uh, worth mentioning right and uh, this is this preparation per se like this prep ladder such competitive exams or uh, like this fmg here scenario is a bit different because the students who come for this licensing exam they complete their mbbs after cracking this exam only means passing this exam only they are eligible for internship so obviously they are going to work hard because in this fmg we just need to pass yes so for fmg just passing may be sufficient but besides fmg there are other competitive exams for pg need right ini cet and all so for after, those after you know, giving this fmg exam first they have to go for the or appear for internship they complete internship and obviously they have to work hard whatever you have suggested bedside teaching procedures attending ot's attending opt's all that is the part of the routine and obviously some of the questions are directly or indirectly related to these kind of postings right yeah. so thank you rohit again and congratulations once again it's good that you have completed your super speciality also that's really amazing <laughs> and i wish best of luck for your future and for all your endeavors thank you very much thank you sir nice meeting you